Today we're going to be working on our peacock tissue paper and our four foot by 10 inch wide pine board that we pick up at Lowe's. You're going to need two sheets of the peacock tissue paper and we're going to start by using a two inch foam roller. This is a Wiz brand from Lowe's and we're going to cover the entire board in white. Now always remember the lighter colors underneath your tissue paper or your transfer always gives your image a brighter um, appearance and it just allows the colors to be a little bit more vibrant. So we're going to start by applying the first sheet at the bottom of our board and you can either use a B10, a Gen Foam brush or an S50 Klingon to apply your varnish or one hour enamel. Once I have the glue, I'm going to lay down some saran wrap and I'm going to use a brayer to just ensure that every part of my tissue paper has attached to the board. I like to do this in sections. as both the one hour enamel and varnish do start to dry quite quickly. Again, the saran wrap is a barrier so that you can use your fingers to uh, wipe out any wrinkles and the brayer just helps make contact with the entire board. So once we get to the second piece of tissue paper, I cut out the peacock and then laid starting with the bird cage just above my first sheet of tissue. Now once everything dries and the fact that my tissue paper is a white background and I painted my board white, you really do not see these seams. They are not visible to the eye. Again, you're going to want either your varnish or your one hour enamel, your saran wrap, and then a brayer. And now I'm just going to take uh, a random piece out of this second sheet that just does not have the peacock showing. And I'm sorry you can't see the top. It's just a very, it's almost about a three inch piece. And then now at this point I'm covering the entire board with either my one hour enamel or my varnish. Whichever one you want to use works great for these projects. Once dry, I'm taking my sandpaper. I would try to be at least 100 grit and we're just going around the edges and releasing the excess tissue paper that was hanging over. Here is our welcome stencil that we pick up at Hobby Lobby. They are $5.99. Make sure you grab your coupon of 40% off and we're going to attach them together. We're going to position it on the board. Make sure you measure and uh, it's even and straight, which is important. And we had our E just go right above the peacock. Again, using our Wiz foam roller and black paint from Wise Owl, you want to load and unload and cover your entire stencil. Now the key is you don't want to press down and you want to very, use very little paint and then you got to lift your stencil. And this is what it looks like. We used an art brush to connect all our letters. We're going to demonstrate the E. And you just want to go through your entire letters and uh, connect them with your black paint. But this is not necessary. At that point, you would want to make your next two coats of your varnish or your one hour enamel. The varnish, the one hour enamel, and the brushes can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. And now you can watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.